Hello and welcome back to Sarah This is going to be season one, episode six of Good Omens. The very last day of the rest. See, I want to say rest of our lives. I'm gonna have to exit off this again. It's too long for the screen. Yes, the very last day of the rest of their of their lives. So yeah. Last episode. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm kind of really happy and sad that it's ending because I really I want to see the conclusion, but then at the same time, it's the last episode, so it's going to make me really sad. It'll be fine, fine, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so starting from next Monday. Uh, the reactions are going to be to Star Trek The Next Generation, which I've not, I have never seen an episode of any Star Trek version, the original, or any of the um, following ones. I've never seen any of the movies, so, you know, massive, <laughs> it's going to be a massive surprise to me, absolutely everything's going to be crazy. But yeah, so... Let's get into the last episode. How did... I'm confused. He wasn't caught last time. In the last of the... Is this going to be like a something hours earlier type thing? Yeah, rewind. Rewind. Car is well and truly dead. He's gonna think, yeah, he's gonna think he did it, did he? <laughs> yeah, so he does say things wrong, doesn't he? I <laughs> look at him trying to like, avoid the town gossip. We've, we've heard God narrate through this whole thing, but we've only seen Satan say like one thing to Crowley. Like, is Satan gonna turn up at any point? But, See, why doesn't she like freak out, scream, have a panic attack, anything? Yeah. You like to break them. <laughs> oh my god, the flaming sword! How does she have it? Is that what the sword was at the beginning? Is that a Xerophel sword? Oh! Oh my god! She just destroy war! Oh my god! <laughs> what is going on? It can't be this easy! Yeah! <laughs> knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I'm going to say that was so anticlimactic. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I don't get it. This episode just doesn't... I don't know why my brain's not like registering the things that are happening. I don't get it. I just don't get it. <sighs> I mean, I know, I know it's the beginning of the episode, so obviously there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen. But I'm not. I just don't get it. Just refuse to be who you are. Yes, you can. Your destiny, the heart of the great plan. I mean, you can say things are prophesized, but you don't have to do them. Father will not be pleased. Talking about his Earth Father or Satan? Lake District, isn't there? Isn't there? I don't know. Finally, that's what I was saying. It's gonna be the dad who was there. You're not my dad. I'm 
I'm. Uh, I don't know. I'm feeling. You know when something's just very anticlimactic, very. I feel like somebody completely different wrote this episode compared to all the other ones. Like, if this is it, then Anathema and that other witch finder are completely useless. Everyone's useless. Three little kids stabbed supposedly the freaking horsemen of the apocalypse and they just crumbled. Ugh, don't tell me it's because they had good intentions. They still deliver any even after dying. What is going on? I don't know, I feel like this has just been a massive retcon of an episode. And it, everything that they spent five episodes building up is just. Oof. All solved. Oh, at least he got his car. I hate this pairing. Like it's built on nothing. They have nothing in common. No. You did one thing. One thing. You bloody were the cause of it by giving him those magazines in the first place. Tied up with string. These are a few of our favourite things. Don't on them! What's wrong What was that? <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Would they ever... So they are demons, but would they ever have said innocent? I can't imagine. Um... Wait, is that an angel? Traitor! Okay, no. You're testing it with the reason that he's there in the first place, so it's okay for you to kill another demon, but not him. See, I slightly get this one because she's been showing him affection since the first episode. And I get that, it's been built up. You think it's a reasonable thing for these characters to do. But. Not the other couple. I don't know where random. There's no way if that wasn't locked specifically that. that they wouldn't have peaked. peaked. What did his letter say? Unless they swap places. Did they swap places? Maybe worse than we thought. Like he's. He's got native. They swap places. Have they swapped places? <laughs> so yeah, see, because that's all she fucking knows about you. <laughs> yes. Yes, they definitely changed. They swapped. Look at how they sat. Look at how they sat. I knew it. Called it. Called it. Okay. So that was the finale of Good Omens. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or if this is if other people felt this way, but it really did feel very anticlimactic. Like maybe there should have been another episode. I don't know, it felt like that episode was written by somebody who'd had no input from the rest of the series. It was too neatly wrapped in a bow, if that makes sense. Just... I don't know, I was expecting more. Like more, more, basically more. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I mean, I absolutely loved all the other episodes and I just, this one just didn't hit the same mark for me. 
well, <laughs> I'm sure I'll rewatch it at some point and, and I'll still, I still like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, um, 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 um. <laughs> so starting next Monday is going to be Star Trek The Next Generation. So keep an eye out if that's something you're into watching me react to. And uh, yeah, so full length and early access is available on patreon.com forward slash Sarah Reacts and I will see you next time.